Good morning to everyone. I am Gaurav Gupta as your mathematics teacher. Today this is our first lecture on class 9th chapter 2. The name of the chapter is polynomial. So what we had discussed here. Firstly before to start the video I request to everyone please listen to me carefully and watch from start to end. So I am going to start our topics which is polynomials. So our topic is polynomial. So firstly we have to understand what is the definition of the polynomial states. And what is polynomial and why we are used here and why we are studying this polynomial in this chapter. What is its name? So polynomial I have classified into two categories. Polynomial of one variables. This is our topic of our class 9th. But not confused because the polynomial may be more than one variables. But that topic you have to study in your higher classes, not at the level of 9th standard. So I divided polynomial may be more than one variable and polynomial may be one variable. This is our topic that we have to study. Before to start the topic, I am taking a polynomial which has more than one variables. For example, you know the identity a plus b whole square and we know what is a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus min 2 into a into b. Now I am applying this here x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus min 2 into x into y. It is nothing. It is basically your a plus b whole square identity and we get the this expression and this expression is called the algebraic expression. Whenever you got the terms which is in forms of addition or subtraction of your variables, that terms is called your algebraic expression. So this is your algebraic expression. So firstly you understand what is an entity. The entity are two types. One first one is your constant and second one is your variable. Please make a look here. First one is your constant and second one is your variable. Any entity whose values remains constant whatever the time. It means I have again repeat any entity whose values cannot be changed with respect to time. It means the values of x is Suppose I am taking a number which has 6. So the value of 6 remains 6. What I am taking today or if I will take it on tomorrow, the values of 6 will remain 6. It never be changed. 5.9 or 6.5. It remains 6. So these values cannot be changed with respect to time are called the constants. Second one is your variables. Variable any entity whose value can be changed and any entity whose value can be changed is called a variable. For example, if I am taking x, x is your variable but the values of x you cannot find. Suppose I am taking here, x is equal to 5, it means the values of x is 5 but now sometime later I am going to take its value x is 7. Then what is the values of x is? Now the values of x is 7. It means the values of x is changed according to the time. So any entity whose value can be changed is called a variable. So in any expression if you find out x, y, z or the other variables maybe also like in terms of t, u, v, s and so on. You can make any alphabet as a variable but the in geometry in mathematics we mostly prefer to use the variables are x, y and z but the not it is not a compulsion to take or to make a, any alphabet to as a variable. So these are the two terms which are you find in your algebraic expression. Please make a note here. here. This x square it means this is your variable and 3 is your constant it means the terms may become either as a constant or either as a variable 
or maybe both multiplication of your constant with your variable if you find such an expression that expression is called your algebraic expression so this is your basically a algebraic expression so i am writing here this is also a algebraic expression but here the variables are two here the variable x x is also a variable y y is also a variable it means we have two variables so this polynomial has two variable now look at this examples if i am taking a square and you know what is the perimeter of the square it is basically the sum of the all the four sides of a square and sides are equal length if i am take the length of the one side is x then the whole side has a length of x so the sum of the all side is x plus x 2x plus x 3x plus x 4x it means we get all the side sum is 4x so you can get the perimeter of a square is 4x so 4 is your constant and x is your variable it means we have uh, we obtained an expression algebraic expression it means the it comes in constant multiplied with variables so this becomes a polynomial but in this we have only one variable and one variable is only x so this is called a polynomial of single variable so we have to deal this type of polynomial in this chapter again what's the representation of a polynomial polynomial is basically represented by an alphabet p so i represented by p small p and take a close bracket and you have to put inside the name of the variable because in this i am going to take variable x so that's why i write here x in this case i have to take x and y two variables that's why i write here x comma y so this is basically your representation of your polynomial i hope you understand this video because it's very easy to understand and the questions are very easy now our first topic is types of the polynomial because uh, you have found such questions based on these types first question you will found types of the polynomial what is type of the polynomial because the types of the polynomial is nothing it basically indicate the polynomial which has a different number of terms so we divided the polynomials into according to their number and each number of terms is given a name which is called it types of a polynomial for example if a polynomial has only one terms that polynomial has a specialized name which is called monomial mono mere means only one term i am giving an example p of x polynomial of variable x is 2x so 2x is your only single term because 2 plus x is not 2 into x 2 into x gives your one term so this is your one term polynomial and is called monomial second polynomial is binomial by means two it means we have two terms look at this example Here two x square is your one term, and another one is your one term. So it means one plus one is two. So you we get two terms, and two terms polynomial is called binomial polynomials. Now third one is our trinomial polynomial. What is trinomial? Tri tri means three. If you will found three terms in any polynomial, that polynomial name is called trinomial. So we have three different types of polynomial: monomial, binomial, and trinomial. these are the different examples of this types of polynomial i hope you understanding this concept so please make a note first then we have to go our next topic our next topic is topic second degree of the polynomial now the question will ask you to find out the degree of the polynomial and you have given a algebraic expression it means you have given a polynomial and you have to find out the degree of the polynomial so how you find out the degree of the polynomial firstly we have to read the definition of the degree the highest power of the variable in a polynomial is called the degree it means whenever you given a polynomial you have to check the highest power of the variable we have not to check the others power we have to check the highest power throughout the exponent that highest power gives the degree of the polynomial so please make a note here our first polynomial is this 3x square plus 2x plus 1 here the variable is x and what the highest power of x is here in this here the power is 1 in this 2 it means highest power of x is 2 so our answer is 
degree is 2. Now look at this. The highest power of x is here. 7. So it means degree is 7. Now look at this. The highest power of x is 3. So degree is 3. Now look at this. The highest power of x is x. But the power is, if the power is not specified, if or for any variable, then we have to consider it 1. It means you can write it as 1. So the degree of the polynomial is called 1. Now look at this. In this, no variable is specified, but the value is constant. 5 is of value, and this is constant. If the value is given by, by any number, then you have to consider it by a variable whose power is 0. So you can write it as 5 into x raised to the power 0 because any variable whose power is 0, the result will be always 1. So in this, if the number is your constant and you have to consider the power of the x is 0. So the degree of this polynomial is 0. So answer is your degree is 0. Now, now the next question. What's the important? Very important. Now the value is 0. Here value is 0. If you will found the values is 0, not the other constant. Now compare this. In this we have a constant whose value is 5. But in this we have a polynomial which has no value. It means we have 0. So here the value is 0. So in this type the degree cannot be determined. So please make a note. Degree cannot be determined. So in this we cannot find out the degree of that polynomial. And this polynomial according to the degree, some polynomial has given a name and we have to deal with their names. What's the name? Please make a note. If you find degree of any polynomial which is equal to 1, we name it as, as linear polynomial. For example, this is this is your linear polynomial. Again, I repeat, if you find out the algebraic expression or or any polynomial whose degree is one, that polynomial is called linear polynomial. Second one is if you find degree is equal to two, its name is called quadratic polynomial. But it quadratic polynomial this quadratic polynomial for example in this here this is degree is 2 this is your quadratic polynomial now if you find degree is equal to 3 the name of the polynomial is called cubic polynomial. This one is your cubic polynomial. I hope you understand this concept. Please make a note and keep it in your minds always because this question becomes going to be very easy. Please make a note first. Now we have to take our next topic. The name of the topic is to find the coefficients of the power of x. It means you have uh, put up a question in terms of to find the coefficient of the x raised to the power. It means you have to find the coefficient of x raised to the power 2, x raised to the power 3, x raised to the power 1, x raised to the power 5 and so on. So I am taking an example which is the coefficient. I again repeat that the coefficient is basically the number or a numeric value that is multiplied with the power of x or you can say that the numeric value which is multiplied with the variable is called the coefficient of its variable. 
please take a look here. I am taking an example of this polynomial. This is your polynomial. So if I ask you what is the degree of the polynomial. So your answer will be degree A basically the highest power of x and here the highest power of x is 6. So our answer is 6. Now the question first is what? find the coefficient. It means we have to find the coefficient. First one is x square. So you have to look at the term where is x square and which numeric value is multiplying it with. We have to find that. x square is here. And what's the numeric value is connected here? 125. It means our and you have to take sign also. Here the sign is positive. It means answer is plus 125. That is your answer. Now second part. Find the coefficient of x cube. It means where is x cube? This is here. And what's the numeric value is associated with? Plus 2. So answer is our plus 2. Now look at highest power of x is 4. Where the term is? x square. Now term is negative 3. So answer is our negative 3. Now look at x2. Where is x2? Again, so I am writing this again 125. Now, find the coefficient of x raised to the power 5. Where x raised to the power 5? This here. And numeric value is plus 5. So our answer is plus 5. Now look at our next part is find the coefficient of x raised to the power 6. Where x raised to the power 6? Here. And what's the numerical value is connected with this? Plus 7 because here no sign is given. So we have to take it positive. Answer is your positive 7. Now what's the coefficient of x raised to the power 7? In this there is no term x raised to the power 7. So the coefficient will be 0. So answer is your 0. Now you have to find out the coefficient of x raised to the power 0. But in this there is no terms that has x raised to the power 0 and you already know if the term is constant we can write it also as 7 into x raised to the power 0 because if x raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 1 into 7 the answer will be always 7 it means we have we have to find out the coefficient of x raised to the power 0 which is here 7 so our answer is positive 7 now we have to find the constant term. Constant term, those term which has no x. It means here the value of x is 0. So it means we have no x. The constant term is plus 7. This question is very simple. So please make a note first. Now I am going to take our next topic, type 4. In this type of question, uh, what, uh, what it asks to you, identification of a polynomial, it means uh, you have to given some polynomials and you have to verify which one is your polynomial and which one is your not. Such type of question basically asked in your competitive exams as well as your in final exam as a one marks question. So by looking at this polynomial uh, without pen, you can find out these are the polynomial and this one is your not polynomial. So what is the identification that you have to find out? This polynomial is a polynomial and this is not a polynomial. Please read the statement. The power of the variable should not be a negative. It means you have to check the variable's power like x raised to the power, y raised to the power. If the power should not be negative, it means the power, if the power you have found, the power is negative. So this is not a polynomial. Second is if you find the power is in fractional, fractional decimal points, 2.37.9 then cross that because that also not a polynomial. The condition is it must be a whole number. If you find out the power of the variable it is whole number, that means this is your polynomial. So if you found any term which is in terms of negative and fractional and the remaining terms are in proper form, but the remains that polynomial is not a polynomial. Look at our first example. This polynomial of x, 3x square minus 2x of 1, it means here the power of x is 2, here the power of x is 1 and in this the power is 0 as we already discussed. So there is no negative power, no fractional power, it means this is your 
calling number. Now look at this 3x cube. This is the power of 3, which is the whole number. Now please make a note here. If you find any term which is in denominator, then you have to take it in numerator. So firstly you have to take it in numerator. Then it becomes 3x cube plus 2. And you know, if we take that term numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator, the sign of the power will be changed. Either it is positive, then it becomes negative, or if it is negative, then it becomes positive. Here the sign of power x raised to the power is positive 2. If it, we take it on the numerator part, the sign of plus 2 becomes negative 2. So we get x raised to the power minus 2. And this plus 3 as it is. It means here we got negative power. It means this not a polynomial. So you cross this. Third part is 3 into x plus root 2. Please note here, root 2 is your number, not a variable. So it may be in square root or fractional part or it may be negative. It's not matter. The matter is important to look at the variable's power. Here the variable's power is your x and the power of x is here 1. It means positive. 1 is your whole number. It means this is your polynomial. Now look at this. See x square. x square has 2 power. It means whole number. Now, but look at this. In this here, square root of 2. But in this here, we get square root of x. Square root means the power of the variable is 1 by 2. So, you can write as 3 into x square plus 2 into x raised to the power 1 by 2 plus 5. It means here the power is here the power is fractional, rational. So this is not a polynomial. So you cause this. Now look at this. If we take this, the denominator terms, it is not possible to take it on upper side. So it, this one also is not a polynomial. If any terms, which is more than one term. So naturally this term will be a not a polynomial. Now look at this. 7x raised to the power minus 3. You got negative 3, which is not a whole number. It means this never be a polynomial. Now look at this polynomial of x 3x raised to the power 7 by 2, which is rational. It means the power never be rational. So that is that is also not a polynomial. Now look at this 3x raised to the power 1 plus 1 upon x. It means we have to take x on the numerator. And the power of x is not specified, it means the power of x is 1 and if it we take it on the upper side it becomes negative. So 3x raised to the power 2 plus 1 into x raised to the power negative 1 and negative 1 is not a whole number that is why this also is not a polynomial. I hope this topic will be clear to you because this topic is very very easy. Please make a note first. Now I am going to take up to start our exercise 2.1. This is your question number first. Please make a uh, statement. Uh, which of the following expression are the polynomial? It means you have to tell about which one is your polynomial. In one variable, it means I already explained this concept. You have to look at the number of variables. If you have found the number of variables in any polynomial is one, then it means it is a one variable form. Otherwise, it is not a variable form, which are not straight reason for your answer. So, please take in first our answer. Here, this polynomial is of this polynomial. You can write as this is a polynomial of variable of single variable is x because you have to state which one is it means answer is yes now look at this in this case answer is again yes because variable is is only one and that is 
why here the variable is only one so that's why it is a one variable now look at this is it a polynomial please make a look see t raised to the power 1 by 2 plus t root 2 this is not a polynomial because you can write this is not a polynomial why because the variable power must be a whole number a variable power must be a whole number but here is 1 by 2 which is rational so answer is no now look at the fourth this one is a polynomial or not again not because we have to solve this y plus 2 if the power is not specified we have to take sign 1 so in this we have to take the y into the numerator the sign of the terms will be changed so again answer is no this is not a polynomial same reason same reason this is not a polynomial because the variable pass may not be whole number this power is negative so answer is no now look at this in this talk this is a polynomial this is a polynomial but not a single variable polynomial because in this we have x y and t three variable so you can write here this is a polynomial of more than one variable more than one variable that is x y z so answer is no because we in this we have to find out or define one variable but in this we have three variables x y and z so answer is our no please make a note our next question number is 2 write the coefficient and we already did what's the coefficient the term or the main values that is multiplied with that term is called its coefficient of the term in this what we have to find out the coefficient of x square it means we have to look only the x square term in this what's the x square term is this is and what is the coefficient? In this no term is mentioned, it means this is 1 into x square. So our answer is what is the term? Minus 1, that is the numeric value. So answer is minus 1. Now look at this. Here the x square term is here. And what is the numeric value is? Pi by 2. So our answer is pi by 2. Here there is no term having power x raised to the power 2 it means coefficient is 0 because there is no term there is no term of x square I hope this will be clear to you please make a note first now I am going to take our next question, question number 3. Give one example each of the binomial of degree 35 and of monomial of degree 100. It means we have to give one example of monomial and binomial. And we already uh, explained this. Uh, the binomial means the polynomial which has two terms. It means we have to take two terms. The second condition is degree is 35 we already know 
What's the degree? The highest power of x is called degree of the polynomial. It means we have a take a polynomial which has a degree of 35. It means I am taking a polynomial p of x, x and the power must be 35. So one term must be a power x raised to the power 35, the other term you can write anywhere. For example, I can write 1. This is example of binomial. You can take another one example. 2x raised to the power 35 minus x raised to the power 5. This one is for another example. If you take x raised to the power 35 minus 3x raised to the power 30, this is for another example. Because in each this we have got only two terms, and two terms is called a polynomial. And we have to take degree of the polynomial. The highest power of x is 35. In this, the highest power of x is 35. In this, the highest power of x is 35. In this case, the highest power of x is 35. So, we can make so many questions or you can make so many examples. So, I am giving just three examples you can make and so on, different types of examples for this point. Now, we have to make a monomial. Monomials we have to take only single term and which has a degree 100. It means this is your Binomial. Now, give an example please. I take x raised to the power 100. This is a term. If I take 2x raised to the power 100, this is also example. If I take 3x raised to the power 100, this is 4x raised to the power 100. All examples. Those are examples. Because the degree of the polynomial is highest power and highest power is 100. It means all the polynomial these have single term that's why it is. these are the monomial and all this polynomial has a degree of 100. So we can make different polynomials having a degree of 100. Now look at the third question, fourth question. What we have to do? We have to do find out the degree of each of the polynomial we already discussed the highest power of x is called or the highest power of variable is called degree in this variable is x and highest power is 3 highest power is 3 and 3 is your degree because highest power of the variable is called degree of the polynomial in this case variable is y and highest power is 2. So, degree is 2. Now, look at this example. And this variable is t and the power is not specified. It means the power is 1. So, highest power is 1, it means degree is 1. In this, the value is constant. So, we can take any variable. So, we can take any variable. Example, 3 into x raised to the power 0, 3 into y raised to the power 0, maybe anyone. But the degree of that variable is always 0. So, our answer is, answer is degree is 0. Please make a note first. So, our next question is question number 5. Classify the following as a linear, quadratic and cubic that also we already discussed. What is the linear polynomial? The polynomial which has a degree 1 is called linear, which has a degree 2, it is a quadratic, it is a degree 3, then it is a cubic. So, we have to look the degree. So, firstly we find degree. And we know the degree means highest power. The highest power of x is here, 2. The highest power of x is here 3. 
the highest power of air this is the polynomial of polynomial of variable y highest power is 2 in this highest power is not specified it means 1 in this highest power is 1 in this highest power is 2 in this highest power is 3 so 2 is your linear means degree is equal to 1 quadratic means degree is equal to 2 and cubic means degree is equal to 3 so this is your quadratic polynomial this one is your cubic polynomial this is again quadratic polynomial this one is your linear polynomial this one is again your linear polynomial this one is again quadratic polynomial and this one is your 3 cubic polynomial it's very easy so please make a note first so we did complete our exercise 2.1 if you feel this video is very good and it will help the other students so please do subscribe my channel and do like so that whenever you press like button this video will go to your friend circle so that every your friends will also get the benefit of my video I try to my level best and to prepare all the steps and as well as explanation. If you further you have any doubts and you are reading some other books like R.D. Sharma and other books, so you can uh, send your problem on my WhatsApp number 9671632413 and my YouTube channel name is Gaurav Gupta Maths Classes. So please do subscribe and do like if you feel this video is good for you and this help today as well as in your futures so don't forget this so see you again later i will come with another video of exercise 2.2 as very soon thank you for watching from my video from start to end please make a note first